Let's head back to the Hasura console to define access control rules. Click on data tab and we'll start off by defining permissions for the table to do's. Let's go to permissions. There is a role admin which is there by default and it has access for all operations without any restrictions. We'll create a new role called user and we'll define permissions for each of the operations. Let's start off by defining permissions for the insert operation. In our to-do app, a user should be able to insert only his own to-do. So let's define a check by saying the column user ID has to be equal to Xhasura user ID. Here, the Xhasura user ID is a session variable that is automatically applied whenever a user makes a request from the front end. Now let's select the columns that can be inserted by the role user. We'll select title and is public as the columns which can be inserted. As you know, is completed, created at or default values which will be applied whenever a mutation is made. For the user ID column, we will create a column preset which will automatically apply the user ID based on the session variable. User ID Right, it will be from a session variable x hasura user id now i'll save the permissions all right now the insert permission has been defined for the role user let's define the select permission for the role user in our to do app the select permission is slightly complex for the table to dos we need to be able to allow the users to select their own to dos but also the to-dos returned by another user, which is public. So we have to define a custom check, which allows them both. We'll create a, a Boolean expression, which says the user ID has to be equal to Xhasura user ID, which is going to indicate that I should be able to select my own to-dos or is public value of the to-do is true, which means a to-do which is written by any user but the public value is true should be accessible by any user. Under column select permissions, I'll give access to all the columns that can be selected. Let's click on save permissions. All right, now the select operation has been given permission. Let's define access control rule for an update operation. It will be very similar to the insert check where we said the user ID has to be equal to Xhasura user ID. Now under column update permissions, we will give access to only the columns ID and its completed values. Let's click on save permissions. Finally, we'll define the permission for the delete operation and it has to be the same check as we did for insert and update, which is saying that the user ID has to be equal to Xhasura user ID session variable. Let's click on the save permissions and we are done with creating access control rules for the table to do's.